my name is Teacher Bell and welcome to another episode of Tips, Review, and Tutorial. If you are new to my channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell all so you'll get notified every time I upload videos on app reviews, tech tutorials, teaching tips, and reading readiness. Today, we are going to discuss the second part of our reading readiness journey. So please check out our playlist on reading readiness. There, I will be putting all my vlogs about how to teach reading at home. So for today's video, I am going to be discussing the sounds that parents need to know before teaching reading at home. In our previous vlog or on our first vlog, I have discussed a principle for you to be an effective reading teacher, which is experience is the key. So keep that in mind every time you teach reading. Now these are the three sounds that you need to understand. The stop sounds, the continuous sounds, and the vowel sounds. For the stop sounds, these are the sounds or these are the letters that have sounds that suddenly stops or there is just a little puff of air when you say it. So for example, the letter B, you don't say ba because then there will be like a schwa sound at the end. It's not ba, it's b. It suddenly stops with a little puff of air. So you can also let your child do that one. B. Okay. Next, k for letter C, d for letter D, for letter G, g. So that's how you say those stop sounds. Now, if you can see, there are some highlighted letters in the stop sounds. So these are the sounds that I call um, the letters with tricky sounds. For example, the letter H. The letter H is a stop sound, huh? but then if you listen to it carefully, the h huh sound, it seems like there's a schwa at the end, huh. So it is a tricky sound because you can actually teach it in a way that the students will sound it gently. So instead of h, huh, you can say huh. There's a big difference. The first one is a forceful sound. Okay? But if you make it gentle, it sounds more like a letter H. So if you combine it, let's say H-E-N is hen. But when you teach H, they may say it as H -e -n. H -n. Okay. Whereas if you teach it gently, just like H -e -n, then they might read it as hen okay so another tricky sound is the letter q okay the sound of q technically is q okay but some teachers say it as q okay so if you combine it it's going to be like quiet okay it's not q yet okay the next one is w Again, the sound is w, okay? But if you teach it as like w, it's like w, win, okay? Instead of saying w, i, n, you say w, i, n, win. So, it's just on how you teach your kids. If your child can easily grasp the w, then you can go for that one. But if they are having a hard time with these tricky sounds, then you might as well want to say woo for W, okay? Next one is the letter Y, okay? The sound of Y is Y, okay? But some teachers, or based from my experience, I sometimes say it as Y, E, L, Y, L, rather than Y, E, uh, uh. If they combine it, it's going to be yeah. Okay? So, those are some of the tricky sounds 
you might want to follow that or not but then again teach the proper way of saying the sounds as well even if it's a tricky sound okay the next one is <coughs> continuous sounds so these are the sounds that do not stop okay they can prolong it for example the letter F you don't say you can say what else okay so they can pronounce it longer okay and of course this is the most important the vowel sounds because this is what the part two will be about blending a consonant to a vowel okay given that your child already memorized the sounds of all the letters okay so for the vowel sounds these are also continuous sounds because the child can prolong it so a e e o and a Okay, so there you go. So those are the vowel sounds. So let's go to the lesson itself. Okay, so for lesson one, which is part of part one letter recognition, okay, the dot again symbolizes the sound. So let your child point to the dot three times and say the sound. So for example, A. Okay, so that way they will associate the apple to the sound of the letter A. This is what we call the experience. Rather than saying A is A, there's nothing to associate the sound with. So it's kind of hard to remember. So again, give your child the experience. That is the key principle. Okay, so those are the lessons for the letter recognition. Now, when we go to part two, which is the blending, okay, we're going to blend the initial sound of the consonant to the sound of the vowels. Make sure to point at the dot, b, a, and then slide your finger for the arrow, ba, b, a, b, okay? So do this as often as you need to every single day. Now, if you have time, then you can go ahead and master this one. And once the child have shown mastery without any prompts, then you may check the box at the bottom and give him or her a sticker. Now, let's go to the third part. The child will combine three sounds, the initial, the medial, and the final sound so these are like the word families i have some links below if you are on this part for the activity so that the child can experience the reading with pictures and pasting and cutting for example b a g bag b a t bat Okay, and so on and so forth. Now, in between all the lessons, uh, there are pre-primer sight words. Now, these are sight words that you will have to teach your child um, plainly by looking at it or memorizing it. Okay, so when your child sees the letter IS, then he or she should know that it's for is without having to blend it. Same with the, go, okay? So all the sight words, if you have spare time, just keep on letting your child master it because there will be some sight words when we do sentence reading, okay? Now, the last part is, of course, the sentence reading. So in this part, we will combine the sight words, simple sight words, with that of the CVC so this is like the application part then okay so again for every dot you're gonna read the whole word then okay so okay dad is fat and then just for comprehension you can ask your child what dad is fat means okay okay so that is it if you do have questions please leave them below the comment section 
and stay tuned for our next vlog that's gonna be when do you teach writing at home okay so if you want to grab a copy of this booklet please you may purchase it um, on Amazon or you can find the link for where you can download it okay thank you and have a great day happy teaching bye